What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today we are going to talk about how to install conversion API in Facebook Pixel to your Go High level. If you sign up for Go High level using our affiliate link below, you'll unlock an exclusive extended 30-day free trial that's double the usual 14 days. Plus, we're throwing in over $2,000 worth of bonuses, including this landing page template. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. So first, let's start by logging into Meta Business Suite and choose your business account. And from here on the homepage, go to settings, go to data sources, and go to pixels. From here, click view data sets and add a data set. So we will name this demo pixel. Click create, and it will say that a data set has been added. And to view your data sets, just click refresh and it will be displayed here. Please do note that the Facebook pixels and data sets are just the same. Uh, Facebook just made some changes. So you can view all your pixels here under the data sets. All right, so next thing that you need to do is to go to the events manager. So click here and set up meta pixel then click install code manually and now facebook will give us this code that we are going to paste on our funnel so click copy code so before we click continue we'll go to our funnels go to the funnel that you're going to use so click here and go to settings so under the settings, search for the head tracking code and paste the pixel code that you just copied. So paste and click save. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is to test the uh, pixel if it's working. And to do that, you have to make sure you install this Google Chrome uh, extension called MetaPixel Helper. So click add to Chrome. Then let's try to view our funnel page. So click view page. And as you can see that here on the extension, there's a notification and it says here Metapixel and there's a check mark here. It means that it is working. Now let's just go back to our Meta Business Suite page and finish the setup. So click continue. And then of course, turn on automatic advanced matching. Let's keep everything on, click continue, and then go to pixel overview. All right, now that everything is set up, we are now going to uh, set up our conversion API. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is to go to settings and we will copy the uh, data set ID and the access token right here. So the next step for us to do is to go back to go high level and click settings and go to custom values and click add folder. And on this folder, we will name it. So we will name this Facebook pixel and click create. But of course you can always name your folder something else if that would make your life easier. All right, so now that we have our folder right here, we are now going to paste the values from Facebook Meta Business Suite. All right, so let's go back to Meta Business Suite and copy the uh, data set ID. And then let's go to go high level and add a new custom value. Let's name this data set, data set ID and paste the value, select the folder and click create. Then let's go back to Facebook again and click generate access token Then copy the code. Let's go back to go high level and paste the value as well. Let's name this access token, paste the code and select the folder and click create. And last but not the least for this example right here, since we are selling digital products, we are going to add a custom value for the price. Product price for $9.99 and then let's save it to the same folder, click create. All right, so next we're gonna go to the automations section and we're going to create a workflow for our Facebook conversion API. So first we're going to create a folder and let's name this folder Facebook Conversion API, click create, and we're going to create a workflow. So create workflow and click start from scratch. All right, so let's start working on this workflow. So we're going to name this workflow 
based on the event that we're going to send to Facebook Conversion API. In this case, it's purchase because we are currently selling uh, digital products on our funnels for this uh, example, for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and add a new trigger. So here we're going to search for order form submission, click here. And workflow trigger name is order form submission, add filters, so select. So we want to choose a funnel or website because we're going to use our funnels. So click the uh, funnel that we have, add another filter, and then submission type. And we want to choose a sale because in our funnel, in our example funnel, we are going to collect a uh, payment uh, to make a sale for our digital product. So click save trigger. All right, so please be advised that you have to make sure that you add this second filter right here, the submission type, and then sale, because if you don't put this, the automation will trigger the um, report or send the event back to Facebook, uh, even though the uh, customer did not complete the sale. So now let's choose an action. And of course, we're going to choose Facebook Conversion API. All right, since we are going to use an access token, we're going to select the integration type because for the ad manager type, the access token field is not available. So let's click here. So click uh, the tags and scroll down to custom values. Choose the folder that we created earlier for easier access. So click access token. And then for the pixel ID, do the same. Go to custom values, click the folder, and click data set ID because pixel ID and data set are just the same. And then Facebook event name is, of course, purchase. Next, let's choose the value. So click custom values, do the same, and then product price. So again, under the custom values, you can definitely change the uh, the value. In this case, it was uh, $9.99, but you can definitely change it anytime. And when whenever you change it anytime, it does the same here on your automation workflow. And then click Save Action. Let's leave the test code blank. And finally, let's publish and save our workflow. Now that's done, let's go back and test our workflow. So we're gonna go to our funnels and try a sample purchase. So you wanna make sure that uh, under the settings, the payment mode is under test mode. So click save and let's try out our funnel. All right, so we're now here on our uh, two-step order form in our funnel. We're going to enter some information. And as you can see, I already have set up a uh, digital product here. So we can do our purchase. Since this is a test purchase, you can just enter a dummy credit card information. So let's click complete order. And there we go. So we were led to our thank you page and we are now going to check our automations. So now when we go back to our automation section, so click the folder that we created, just make sure that the automation is inside the uh, folder, the Facebook conversion API folder. And as you can see, there's a, there's a value here, one total enrolled. So it means that it went through. So let's just check. So click and click execution logs. And there we go. As you can see, our uh, Facebook conversion API and pixel worked. And there you have it. So now we've learned how to integrate your Facebook pixel and Facebook conversion API to your Go High Level Funnels. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. And don't forget, if you're ready to try out Go High Level, use our affiliate link in the description to unlock an extended 30-day trial, over $2,000 worth of bonuses, and a free landing page template. See you in the next videos.